Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to sew the core belt bag. Whether you call it a crossbody bag, a fanny pack, a waist bag, a moon bag, or a sac banane in French, this little accessory is super cute and practical. And the best part is that you can download the pattern for free on our website. Simply click the link in the description below or scan the QR code on the screen to get started. The core belt bag is available in two sizes. The small version measures 13 inches wide by 6 inches high, while the large version, uh, which is more of a crossbody bag, measures 15 inches wide by 8 inches high. It's fully lined and it features a front zipper, an optional inside pocket, a swivel hook, and a slider buckle to adjust the length of the strap. The core belt bag can be made using any stable mid to heavy bottom weight fabrics uh, like denim, twill, canvas, and corduroy. You can also use waterproof fabrics like uh, wax cotton or a waterproof soft shell. Or you can even quilt your own fabric and add batting for extra texture and dimension. So lots of possibilities. For today's tutorial, we'll be using a gorgeous eco denim from Core Fabrics and a cotton poplin for the lining. However, feel free to explore other stable and sturdy woven linings like quilting cotton, cotton broadcloth, or light cotton twill. This project is perfect for using up scraps, requiring less than a fourth of a yard for the small version. In fact, we've been using up even the tiniest scraps to sew these samples. Plus, it's super quick to make, so let's get started! Here's what you'll need to sew the core belt bag. The PDF pattern, printed in your chosen size, your main fabric and your lining, refer to our blog post for the necessary yardage, the core belt bag hardware kit, which you can find in our shop. It includes two yards of 1.5 inch webbing, one 1.5 inch wide D-ring, one 1.5 inch wide slider buckle, and one 1.5 inch wide swivel hook, one 16 inch or longer zipper. The zipper can be longer uh, than final measurement and will adjust the length when sewing it, machine needles, thread in a matching color, pins, marking tool, snips, and if you'd like to, you can also add a sewing label and top stitching thread. Note that the seam allowance is a half of an inch. Align your closed zipper with the top edge of the front of your main fabric, right sides together. The zipper is longer, which is to allow extra length on the sides to make it easier during assembly. Secure with pins and stitch at a half of an inch seam allowance. If you've chosen to add a sewing label or patch to the front of your belt bag, it's time to position and sew it. Like you just did with the front of your main fabric, you now need to attach the zipper to the front lining by placing the lining right side down on the wrong side of the zipper. The zipper should be sandwiched between the main fabric and the lining pin and stitched along the zipper. Flip the layers together and secure with a top stitch along the edge. Right side together, position the zipper onto the flap main fabric, aligning the zipper with the lower rounded part of the flap. To help pinning and sewing around the rounded edge, pin the middle first, followed by each end, and distribute excess fabric evenly with additional pins. Stitch carefully along the zipper. Repeat the process for the flap lining, ensuring the zipper is sandwiched between the lining and the main fabric. Secure with pins, and stitch along the entire length. Flip the layers together and top stitch along the zipper edge. 
slide the zipper towards the center to avoid it being in your way for the next steps. Tack stitch the side of your zipper to hold it together. You can do that by hand or by machine, but be careful to not hit the zipper teeth with your machine needle. Now it's time to assemble the sides. Align each side of the main fabric with the sides of the front panel main fabric, pinning carefully to avoid the zipper. Make sure to not pin the lining with the main fabric. Repeat the same process for the lining. The result should look like an X with a hole in the middle. Stitch the four sides of the X and be careful to avoid the zipper. When you're done that, stitch the three layers together only over the zipper. Trim any excess zipper within the seam allowance. Repeat for the other side. Now let's sew the webbing. First, cut a 2 inch strip of webbing and align it with the main fabric front's right side. Stitch it down within the seam allowance. Pass the 2 inch webbing through the D ring, fold in half, and top stitch the webbing. Sew the rest of the webbing to the other side, within the seam allowance. Roll up the webbing and secure it with an elastic to keep it out of the way. Make sure the zipper is slightly open to help pass everything when we turn the belt bag later. Next, Align the back of your main fabric to the front of your main fabric, right sides together, and pin along the edges. Stitch the sides and curved edge, leaving the top edge open. Then pin and sew the lining pieces together, leaving the top edge open and a 4 inch opening on the curved edge for turning. Pin the top edges of the main fabric and lining together and sew all the layers together at the top edge. Trim corners and excess fabric. and turn the bell bag right side out. Sew the opening inner lining using an invisible stitch. Now, it's time to attach the swivel hook to the D-ring. Then pass one end of the strap through the slider buckle, over the center bar, and back down. Then pass it through the swivel hook. Pass it back through the slider buckle underneath the first pass. Fold the raw end of the strap so that from the fold to the raw end, it measures about an inch and a quarter. Top stitch the raw end in place. Top stitch to the webbing underneath. You can also sew a square with a cross or you can add rivets. And you're done! Congrats! Hope you enjoyed making and wearing your beautiful core belt bag. And if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. 
And don't forget to tag us on Instagram at Core Fabrics. We would love to see your makes.